Hello and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 with our Democratic Japan campaign where we are kicking the crap out of China. And uh, yeah, good thing that we have a warning here. The USA is about to take over a faction, which is not that great. So uh, I really need to start pumping out some more troops, which we're doing. So it's just that feel that manpower of them is such significantly higher. Um, yeah, 2.9 million, because we only have about 1 million. So if they've doubled the amount of that we've got deployed, I think that's what what, what it's saying. Yeah, like, like two and a half times, I think that would be the accurate number here. But well, we're kicking Communist China ass, which is kind of great, to be honest. I don't know how fast they're on the death train. Pretty damn fast. All right, so... Uh, good shit, good shit. Um... Let me do the following, and let's attack here. Uh, select two and attack here, select two and attack here. And there we go. Let's see if we can take a little bit more land out of that one. It seems like we... Uh, the biggest problem that we'll probably run into is that the front line will get too big. But with every piece of territory that we take, we are lowering their manpower, their their everything. So it's pretty good. But the US and now as well, I think we'll be fine um, with the amount of stuff that we've got present on the field. Let me see. Is there only one army fighting on this front line? Oh, I've got a second moving in. What are you doing? Oh, right, you're coming back. And someone lost two dudes in the meantime. That's a little bit annoying. So we'll train up two guys, high priority, add a unit, only once. Deploy on Japan, there we go. Since these guys are a little bit, have a little bit more expertise, I think I'll uh, put them up here in the north and make them push in the terrain that we don't really like to push in. Come on, let me draw a line, draw a line. There we go, yep, there we go, good boy. Well, this might be getting cut off actually, because I don't know. Wasn't it? I don't know actually what is. Uh, it might have been a part of China and then things went weird. Anyway, um, somebody suggested also like, hey, make bicycle battalions because um, they're actually pretty good due to the fact that they basically have the advantage of motorized, but you don't have to build trucks. And to that I say, you are completely correct actually. I don't really know why I kind of went on the ignore train there. Um, why don't you just take this bit here? That would be the trick, I guess. Um, Red Army is still not there, so we're gonna wait for it. Ah, I kind of called the Red Army, which is a little bit confusing because they're not the Red Army. But yeah, let's focus a little bit on our technology. We've got some free dockyards. That's pretty nice. Um, come invest some cruiser production, um, which is still necessary. A little bit more. Now, also somebody suggested release um, the your pu possible puppets there. Yeah, I know. I kind of want to do it, uh, but I kind of want to keep the factories. But there are no real factories here anyway. So you know what? Uh, I'll do it because it is. It makes more sense in 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 a lot of senses. So Republic of Vietnam will release it as a puppet. And then you have the Republic of Laos, which is this puppet, and Cambodia. That means we lose access to this territory, but these guys will start doing their own things. So <laughs> they have a great start with no factories. But it is, it is, it is, it is fine. It's fine. So we've got a couple of democracies standing here, like led by the same guy. Just has a different name in every country, but this looks either we've we've put the three twins in power, or I don't know really what's going on here. Um, okay, red has arrived at the front line. It means that the teal army or cyan, I think, is more accurate, can buzz off. Our tanks don't perform that well in that region, so let's pull them away as well. Also, they have a similar color, which is a little bit annoying. So I think I'm gonna. Pull you into a different color and make you green. Because I usually have my tanks on green. Uh, let's see. Let's see if these guys got any skills by now. Not really. You have none. And you have 
skills that I don't really care about. I'm just getting more near, buddy, so we can get an extra speed. And I might convert this guy to the bicycle battalion. So let's go and take a look at what... Uh, there will be some downsides to using it, so kind of have to figure out what the exact downsides are to it. All right, the Americans are making a push, so they are controlling this front line, which is fine with me. Uh, now we're going to use this uh, these guys to just uh, connect the front lines towards here. And that should do the trick. Um... Nice and Spain joined the allies. All right, so we've got another enemy coming in on that one. Um, I have nothing really close, so. This is to be, uh, wow, Nationals, France is coming back. But uh, the Germans, right, the Germans and the Russians are fighting. So kind of to see how that's going, but that should go in favor of the, yeah, sure you can send some motorized if you want me to. If you want to send me some motorized, I am fully into that shit. A um, little bit too much, isn't it? Six years ahead of time. We're up and already. Uh, land doctrine is not that important yet. So I first want to get some... Yeah, 943 aircraft, for example. Let's go with close air support first. And bigger anti-air guns. Uh, let me check. We have decent production right now. I think I want to up this to three. Can I build any? Yeah, I can. Let's build a couple of them. All right, so things aren't looking as straightforward anymore because the line just got really big, but in most places we're still winning. And I think we got the biggest advantage now that Russians are not capable of assisting in this war. Uh, war support is good, so I don't need that. Stability is pretty okay actually it's mostly down because we're at war right let's get the uh, interceptors up and running it's kind of funky because i'm actually wondering something right now is this the same as this no it isn't it is a different aircraft but mutually exclusive with an interceptor three think no it is this basically the same aircraft because uses the same no 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 it is the same it's the a7m so it just requires different pre-tech that's what, what confused me uh okay united states is slowly deploying more troops but we've got another army coming in good it's kind of weird that we're building mostly army right now to prevent the united states from taking over our faction all things considered i find that weird all right um we're gonna move you into a different spot. I think I'm gonna use these guys for, yeah. So I'm gonna put them here and I'm gonna control them myself. And we're just gonna uh, push up entirely past this river here and see if we can connect on these lines. And Windows Defender, would you kindly fuck off? Especially when you're, you know, making noise like that. Advanced artillery upgrades, so that's our arty uh, to the max. For now, and we're not going to switch over to this because it's it's ridiculous uh, expensive to produce anything uh, anyway. So, and we'll produce these aircraft. I think we're fairly back up on tech uh, again. There's a lot of naval tech that we are not uh, great with right now, but that's okay. Um, your orders are nearly done, so why don't we strip these front lines uh, away? You as well. So you don't have any orders anymore. And uh, why don't we uh, tell you to basically push for here. And go. And I think I want my tanks to get out of here. And this is, m I think, the last real remaining flatland uh, here. Why don't I? Okay, I actually have an idea. Set my tanks up um, right here, past this r the river. And we're gonna spear them, head them towards this area here. Cause that's basically tank terrain, so to speak. All right, I got a little bit of access of steel and I need a little bit more aluminium. So we'll trade with the USA, of course, cause they're our friendlies. I'm kind of happy that we got the US on this uh, fight with us. To, um, this makes just things a lot less of a 
me versus the world. Makes the campaign a bit shorter, I know, but it makes it things more interesting. Now, I have an idea for the next campaign. By the time you're watching this, I am actually on holiday, so... I don't know if it's gonna drop anytime soon or not, because I don't really know how long this campaign is gonna last. We still have to take out the Soviet Union, we still have to take out the German Empire, but we also still just have to take out the Allies in general, which are slowly flipping towards communism. Why? Oh wait, that's the uh, it's the Russian influence, isn't it? Or what is it? What is what's causing this? Something that they've done is causing. Uh, is it still? Season number four five. It's no longer increasing. It's no longer decreasing. So, with their stability like this, we could stage a coup under the communist party. It's not ideal. I, th I rather think I have the Demo Democrats start making some trouble. So let's get some democracy. Um, oh, we're running out of equipment, it seems. Ah, uh, troops are... Uh, no, they're not deployed yet. So we just ran out of equipment. Uh, let's go back to construction engineering. It's just, yeah, we need a lot of infantry equipment. It's just the push that we're doing right now seems to be a bit problematic. So yeah, the fact that we're building some... The military factories is not a bad idea. Uh, let's move you down to here and build some more like here. And after that, I think I want some more civilian factories. So we'll do this, this, and this on the civilian list. So up, 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 up. There we go. All right. We'll wait. Uh, let we'll let that happen. Let it run its course. Are we looking on naval? I have a couple of cruisers uh, available again, so... I think I'm actually going to switch this up. Uh, patrol. And you're a scout fleet. There you go. Um, and this is... Oop. There we go. And you should be on convoy escort. What I'm going to do... Instead of doing this, we're going to put it on here. Uh, we have still no convoys, which is still a problem, and we're gonna get some like this, and a lot of line of destroyers going. I have some extra submarines available, which is pretty good. So sub it up. I never can find these bloody icons. Um, subs, okay. There we go. Any, did you and do you get any any experience mine sweeping mine laying consumer expert nah spotter is good but retreat decision chance is anything would least anything fun here I think visibility expert is pretty good and this allows the fleets to retreat a little bit better so that might be pretty okay you probably have done some fighting Fighter sortie efficiency, air mission combat efficiency, air attack. For close air support. Nope. Naval bombers. Hell yeah. There you go. And enemy fleet size penalty. Plus 10%. Well, organizing a large fleet is difficult, so it's using a small force and maximum potential. Um, Lone Wolf might not be a bad idea. Because even if they have a bigger fleet, it might not be as much of a problem for us. Alright, so all things considered, I think the north is going to get pushed through. But yeah, we need guns, and I think a lot of it is going away now for trade. So what I'm also going to do, because I just need more uh, convoys, is put... Um, seven here, which is not ideal. So why don't we put you to the top? There we go. Once that's done, we'll start producing the... Uh, Things a little bit more efficiently. All right. But I think if keeping up the pressure right now is more important than anything else. Um, because it will, yeah, it will, it will, yeah. I think they are on the run right now. And if we can keep up the pressure, I think we'll be better off in the long run. Compared to just letting it slip, basically. Um, come on, I want to get this fight done. Why don't you assist us as well? Maybe we'll get the... Uh, why don't you, instead of going from here, drive over here and assist with this, like there. It might be a little easier. 
Um, you know what? I have a better idea from you. The original idea I had is, is stupid. So we're gonna just do this and we'll just tell them to push up the line like that. Um, I want you to basically go from here. Keep the pressure up on that one. All right, so we managed to cut it in two. You go here. This front line doesn't change. We're just gonna make it a little bit longer. As long as it doesn't say like you don't have enough trip. No, it doesn't. Okay, good. There we go. Look good. Got got some, some fuel again. So probably conquered something that contained fuel. Um, I love how we earn. Oh, this fight is not functioning the way I want it. Um, first of all, I don't want him fighting over this river. So get you, get your ass over there. Good. Got a logistic companies. That should save us some trouble. We're good on aircraft, we're good on engineering. Uh, I can get the nuclear reactor, but I doubt that will do me much good right now. And 943, well, this is actually important. Uh, flexible lines or... Um, streamlines, sorry, there we go. And how long are these tanks going to take to cross this bloody river? This goddamn river, come on. Get your ass across. These tanks are not strong enough to take over this city. How many the forces have? Zero. It's just it is a city, so... Maybe get some aerial support in here. Might help. Why are these guys moving so slowly? There is fuel. Oh, it doesn't have any fuel right now. I might explain why it's moving so slow. Yeah. Probably also the reason why its attack status is R is so damn low. Wait, you can penetrate it? What are you carrying with you? AT guns? Oh yeah, they do. Right. Put some infantry in there, entire problem solved. Well yeah, tanks are pretty useless when you bring AT guns into the equation. Especially when it can penetrate. Uh, infantry expertise, thank you. That's pretty good. Tanks are just mostly here for, to provide firepower because they have. Actually, our tanks might be worse. Why are they so bad? It's a low supply, I think, which is. No, it's just, just shitty. <laughs> They're just pretty damn bad. Alright, um. Don't carry you up here in the north, so why don't we put you down here? And, uh. Oh my god, my tanks are shit. They're really bad. I had, I, I had high hopes for these guys. Come on, man. Decent firepower, stuff like that. Might have want to switch these out for tanks at some point. Uh, how many tanks do I actually have in reserve? I had 160 something. So it's not even a lot. Not enough to warrant any uh, adjustments onto that one. Uh, there we go. So now they're doing their thing. There we go. Alright, we got three marines, so we can invest in further in our industry. Yep, max factories in state, that will we do fine. It's mostly to crush us, that interests me. Um, basically, I want to tell all of these tanks to uh, get in here. Uh, one convoy on a monthly basis. It requires 700 convoys, so I really need to get this uh, thing going. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need nine in total, so I need two more somewhere. So, one, two. That's not right, there we go. And, yeah, get that one going. All right, so we get those convoys going so we can actually get anything going. Uh, you lost your front line because I think it got pocketed. How are they not surrendering yet? I think it's literally just, I need to take this city or they won't surrender. I think infantry is important here because infantry does not get the penalty for being able to be penetrated, which is a strong suit of tanks, I guess. When you think about it. Let me check. It is, it is literally that city or just some more territory and overall that needs to happen. Um, spread it like that. There we go. Yeah, 
a lot of troops. Just take it. Thank you very much. There we go. Alright, so... Technically we're allied with a China, aren't we? Is China, is there an ally here which is called China? Vietnam, Laos, Malaya, Cambodia, Tibet, United States, China. Yeah, China is in here, but we did majority share. Now, I could create a supervised state. Which is a little bit weird when all things when you think about it. Due to the fact that we have a China, but it's it's not a We can't kick them out, can we? So we need to start influencing them, I guess. Uh, so we would feed, like, no, I just gotta take a look at it. Like we can liberate a lot of these smaller, yeah. See, that's the problem. I don't think I would want a satellite. Like I sell like the entire damn thing in one go if I would want to, but it's, there is China. Um, yeah, see, this is gonna create a lot of border war. I don't really feel like I want to do that, so I think I'm just gonna feed everything to China itself. We'll create a super, well, basically another superpower. Um, oh crap! I think I'm kind of afraid that the U.S. will do weird shit, um, but I might not because they're not. They shouldn't really do that, to, though. To be honest. Oh, that's taken for myself. That's that. No, 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 no. Reset. There you go. There we go. China is taking stuff for its. Ah, uh, fuck. I did take that for myself. Then I, I will just return territory that, that way. I guess I can do that. It's easier. Let's see. Pass. Pass. Um, there's nothing else involved in this war, right, than just Chinese territory, yeah. Pass. I think it's fairly expensive for him to take anything. What is left? Where is this? Oh, that's just this port here. I'll just go and find... Alright, uh, instead of Japan? Give score. Oh, no. Uh, pass. Because they, they don't accept this as their own. There you go. Done. And we still all own all this. But what if I would now, uh, let's see, details, occupy territories, return territory to China. What about it? Taiwan? I don't want to give away Taiwan. East Hebei and Dalian. So this is East Hebei. What is Dalian? Oh, there might be this bit here. Yeah. I guess... Um, I could do this differently. Do I consider this even core territory or? No. Taiwan? No. Do I use the factories here a lot? Not. Uh, this one, yeah. Fuck it. We'll return it. I won't give him this, basically. I'll switch that over to somebody else. Uh, right, we're getting a new division. Yoink, there we go. That's zero two. I don't think that's actually... Oh, that is the two. What are we missing here? Motorized. Yeah, sure. I think I'm actually gonna cancel the land lease with the USA, because it's it's retarded. It's it's just too much. There's almost so many guns, so many, uh, so many the rest of it. There we go. Uh, there we go. We lost a lot of factories. What else we expected? So yeah, I just need to start building more factories. I'm working on it. Um, all right. 
pretty good stuff so far. I cannot. I, I just don't have the convoys right now. Uh, next target would be the Soviet Union. Um, I think I just take a claim state. Well, that's a fairly quick one. So, yeah, let's go. They're not prepared for it. While I'm still at a state where I'm currently mostly not ready for a new war, I think I'm just gonna do it. Now, who are we faction wide? Okay, so it would be pretty big border. Can I do it like this? No, it's just, okay, it's gonna be a shitty border like that, alright. Uh, we're gonna put you here. No, I'll put you on the Mongolian border. Uh, let's actually cancel our military access. I'll put you guys on this border here. Um, the fact that we're going to attack from two angles will be hopefully enough. I'm going to put these six here. The tanks, I'm going to put them, then, I think, on Mongolian border. You'll take Mongolia, yada yada. And tanks. Put them uh, on the side here, actually. I think I'm just going to do like this. Just march through. There we go, bam. Uh, activate all the orders. Not that it matters right now. Alright. And yeah, we just need to build up our production more. I think that's the disadvantage that we have uh, as we play right now. We don't really have access to a lot of um, factory space. We just don't have the largest economy. We have a large amount of manpower, but we just don't have any really an economy to work optimally with it. Uh, yeah, just shift it naturally. It's fine because we have a we have um, daily democracy support. And don't we have another thing that boosts us towards? No, but it will balance itself out. So, but oh, they're still empowered. Wow, that's annoying. All right, so new guys are getting. Recruited finally. That means our uh, gun problem is. Uh, oh wow, that's still at 14,000. Jesus Christ. Alright, well. That's definitely not a problem. Declare war. Um, yeah, just go. There is nobody on this front line. Yeah, join wars, allies. Call everybody in. All right, everybody's already in, and uh, now we're having fun. Yeah, sure. I thought already a uh, uh, different war. Did I call you all in again? Like, click the button. All members, I guess. All right, China should be in. Mongolia hasn't joined yet. All right, well that's it. Will it will happen? The Emperor. There we go. I think the US should. Yep, they're already taking the war goal. That's good. Um, test the Soviets. Not really necessary considering that uh, we um, already are at war with them. What's the event? Bad fashion and communism. That's not really necessary. Korea wants to help. British Malaya wants to help. I like an easier call allies button. See, this is why I don't like these compound wars, because apparently it really fucks up somewhere. German-British war, German-Soviet war, and German-British-Canadian war. So what is this one? It's the war. Japanese-Soviet war call. Okay, everybody is called in now. Except for some of the enemies, but... Mexican-Soviet Republic. That's not a good idea, buddy, <laughs> considering that you're bordering the United States. All right, can I, okay, ask for a land lease, uh, modify incoming land lease. Can I ask for infantry equipment? 2,000, it's just like, can I have? <sighs> hey man, I need some infantry equipment. Can you send me a little bit? And it's like, yeah, sure, man. We can send you a lot. I 
My Christ, mate. Just chill out. I think this might actually be... More beneficial right now. Yeah. Just get the iron out of it. Oh, and this... Oh, we got some Soviet problems, probably. We'll redact itself once we can take uh, this harbor, I guess. It will solve itself. Redact? Using random words here. Um, I'll trade with China for now. I can't get any more, sadly enough. Everything is getting traded away already. It's Malaya. It's coming from an... At least from... Oh, I don't have the fucking convoys. That's the problem. Right, 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 right. That's not the problem. Like, hey, you don't... The convoys are getting raided to death. It's more like, hey, you... Don't have any convoys, buddy. Alright. Well, it is is what it is. Ah, without aluminium, we're in trouble. But we'll be fine. We'll be fine. This is definitely not going to go wrong. If it doesn't call him in, I will... 221 days. I'm not going to bother with that one. Alright, is there anything in here that I want to need? That I need, at least? No. I could get the... Um, military theorist. Not that bad. Well, actually managed to get another tank. Surprising. Alright, new carrier fighter. Considering the oil is bad, let's research this one. It was one on my list anyway, but... Anyway, but that's 31 minutes, so I'm gonna end the video here. I wanna thank you guys for watching, and see you hopefully in the next one. Have a good day, bye-bye.